Alright, here we are, Fionn Davies. What are we working today? Uh, we're going to look at beating the reverse alley from the hook and getting back to a knee cut. So I'm going to start off here in the reverse of the heaver. The first thing I'm going to do is anchor onto this far leg. I'm going to look to pin this hand off of my foot. So if he's gripping at the ankle, I'm going to reach down, elevate, and then I'm going to look to uh, pin this hand through the mat. So if I'm here in reverse of the heaver, I'm going to try and go for the head. Owen's probably going to block his head, protect it. Otherwise, I'm going to cross face and come in close. Okay, so when I'm here, as I come in, block his head, I circle in, and then I'm going to look to pin the wrist down to the mat here. So I've got my two anchoring grips, pinning my weight through. So rather than coming in close here, uh, we're assuming we can't close the distance, so I'm pinning through both of these grips here. Once I'm here now, I need to uh, take the weight out of this reverse out of the heel. So if he's curling his foot around my hip, he's going to be looking to elevate me. So what I don't want to do is drive in immediately without beating this hook first. So I'm going to use my back leg, because I've got both of my hands occupied, to beat this hook, and I get my leg free. So to do this, when I'm pinning through, I'm keeping my weight forward, uh, driving into the far corner here, because he's going to be turning up heavy towards me. So I need to count the balance here to keep the weight on him. My knees turn inwards. This is going to allow me to be able to drive pressure into Owen, and possibly even clear that top hook. Okay, so I'm keeping my weight base over that top shoulder, and now I'm going to take this back leg to pin the hook out. So I'm going to put the weight onto the near side knee. I'm going to pinch heavy. And as I do this, I take a big back step out. The reason I do the back step out is if I clear the hook and go immediately for the knee cut, most people will put it back in straight away. Okay, they'll curl it around my hip. Mm. Actually can't because your leg is so long. <laughs> You're in a relation to me, but imagine it was. <laughs> So when I clear this, I take a back step to make sure I clear this hook. And a lot of the time, people will close this knee in. Okay, so they'll try and narrow the, the scope of their guard, block me from coming into that knee cut. And that's when I can step over and look to go for a smash pass. Huge. Okay, so when I'm here and I cover, when I step back in now, instead of going over for the smash, okay, I'm going to open out the leg. Bring my knee back into that knee cut position, and I'm going to fold my shoulder over his leg. Okay, so I'm dropping my shoulder in, pushing the leg open, and then from here, I can come nice and heavy into that cross face. So I can catch the far head, catch my underhook, drive my pressure through, or you can keep here as well and look to cover as you pass through the guard. So we're starting in the knee cut. My partner has a really strong reverse alley heel grip in, okay? I'm loading up into him. I don't want to drive my weight too far forward, otherwise he's going to elevate me, spin under. So I keep my weight back. If he's blocking his head, I pin this hand to the mat. My back hand is going to anchor onto this leg, so I can use it to clear. This leg now, I'm going to step in, fold over to pop the hook, big back step, and now depending what he does, if he narrows the knee, I cover, I smash. If he doesn't, so say he leaves that space open, I come back in, and I, I come heavy into my knee cut here, dropping my shoulder to make sure he can't repubble that underhook. And then from here I can go cross face, drive heavy, and then block that near side frame. Huge. Nice. 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 Thanks for the nice. tips, guys. Fucking nice.